Hello, I'm Raydon from Raydon.org. I'm going to summarize here the steps that you can do to operate a full-scale ERP testing on the Jenkins server. And I've summarized all the steps here, all in about eight or nine that you can use. Okay, so let me just show you uh, right away. Here's the Jenkins server. Uh, you said bellysurf.net port 8080 and as you can see there are already various jobs being set up the first thing that you do is basically click on this to activate any bill of the latest trunk from Adempier source code and once it's been compiled you will find that you will leave his artifacts here for you to download and deploy I'll not run that because it will take some time and after that you should run click here to get the database uh, re recreated and all the latest migration scripts applied uh, this takes quite a long time here so I'll not do that uh, but once these two jobs are done you have a couple of things or options that you can do which is well wait I miss out about this one you should run this silent setup and that also takes quite a long time here, three minutes, um, to properly sign all the jars and package it so that uh, the other options that you can do after that will be running the server. Let me do that. And now activate the server 2 application server so that you can get to the web. Here it is, the job has been queued and uh, running now. Uh, you can see it is in progress. If we go in click here you and on this job uh, the console output basically will show you all that this has been happening so when that is done um, you can then uh, do web UI testing or manually see in action here let's click on here yes it's up now so then there are a couple of tests that you can do. One will be the web UI testing, um, which is uh, Selenium testing of the ZK Ajax interface. The others that you can do will be uh, another cool thing you can do is try out the packaging of any external module onto the Adempier trunk. So this is a sample module which is a uh, fixed asset. So by clicking on this, you apply this fixed asset jar into the packages jar and run the migration scripts from this module so if this works it, sh it will show that you can then apply any other package that you have onto the ADMP trunk and there's a test for the fixed assets here that will prove that it's running properly I've done this um, I might as well give this thing a go also so by pressing there you will launch another job here and you can get in and see what it's doing it runs the fitness uh, test and uh, this run rather quickly so as you can see here so we can get to the results uh, very fast uh, let me get to here so everything is correct here. Uh, you can run the Selenium, but I won't do it because it will take some time. It's, uh, uh, you will go through a few web uh, steps through the AJAX interface. So you can go back to this forum and follow in detail all the steps which is described here. Uh, you can also fetch the config of the whole Jenkins um, configuration XML uh, from my site uh, which I have linked here uh, which you can apply to your own Jenkins server so thank you this is Redwan from redwan.org have a nice